Google Plus is not usually the place that I find fakery online, but this site got my attention for this headline, Al Sharpton, it should be a federal crime for white people to shoot blacks even in self-defense. And I have understood this site to be a little sketchy, and so I looked this up. Uh, I went to the article and found the headline and read through the the text here and it's got an actual quote so i mean they've got him on record here in this quote on chom joiner morning show okay and it comes from buzzpo the reporting comes from buzzpo so i clicked on buzzpo and this is what i got conservative tribune and not found error 404 okay so it's not there anymore which is interesting because if you look at this date it's january 14th 2018 that's just a couple days ago uh so to look into it further if i couldn't find it there i went ahead and i put that headline into a search engine and i found the same headline here average joe news and it's the same thing certifiably nuts race baiter and then from buzzpo and then the quote and let's go here it is in the deplorable army it's got the same headline and it's got the same beginning and the same quote at BuzzPo. Here it is, daily related, same headline, same beginning, BuzzPo, and the same quote. And here we go, we have this one at Dayla News, uh, same headline, same beginning, from BuzzPo, and the same quote. Here it is, USA, USSANews.com, same headline, same beginning, it's the same article, January 14th, and Top Right News. Top Right News has the same headline, scroll down, different author, same article, exactly the same. So there's five or six clones that I could identify in just a few minutes running around on this article. But that's not all. If you can't get to it from BuzzPo, the logical thing would be to look it up on Google or some search engine. So I did Sharpton, Joiner, uh, Crime for Whites, etc. And I got these results. Uh, of course, a couple of them were the ones that we just saw. And here's one at amren.com, lower the threshold. Well, that sounds a little more uh, realistic. It's American Renaissance, okay? And so they say this is from the Daily Caller. They lifted it entirely from the Daily Caller. So tracking that down, we go to the Daily Caller and Chuck Ross's column. And here's our interview with radio host Tom Joyner. Okay, finally, we can find the place in which this is said. So let's take a listen. Unless we change that legislation, we end up where we are in terms of the Trayvon Martin case. Clearly, I'm disappointed. Clearly, I'm sure the family is. But clearly, the Justice Department cannot go beyond the laws as is written. Wait, did you see that? Let's listen again. Unless we change that legislation, we end up where we are in terms of the Trayvon Martin case. Clearly, I'm disappointed. Clearly, I'm sure the family is. But clearly, the Justice Department cannot go beyond the laws as is written. That's right. They inserted seven words into this quote, seven words that they then used to build those headlines that got the outrage going, the outrage which got them the clicks, which got them the income from people who believe Al Sharpton said something that he did not say. And you don't need to take my word for it. You can go to blackamericaweb.com and listen to this six plus minutes of audio of Al Sharpton by yourself, if you can stand that much of Al Sharpton. But the point is that he didn't say it. And no, before you say he sounds like something he would say or uh, it's close enough, no, you don't get to put words in someone else's mouth. That's not how this works. And it's not honest. But what makes me more angry than anything? People are making me defend Al Sharpton. Ah, I can't even. No, I don't want to have to do that. But the fake news creators, these faceless people that make these articles and gin up this outrage and get all this money, they're not going to change. They have every incentive to keep going.
It's only us becoming better news consumers that's going to stop the spread of this.